All right. Let's see if we can get through this live without any massive glitches like last time. Let's see. Right, if anybody's there, say hello and let me know if this is working. Because last time was a disaster, <laughs> to say the least. Let's see. There's the chat box. Right, let's see if anyone's out there. If you are there, say hello. And cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. All right, I see we've got people joining now. So come say hello in the chat box so I know you're here. And Nicole is here straight away. Hello, Nicole. How's it going? How are you? Dan's here. How are you? Um, so basically, we're doing this Q&A. Uh, so if anybody wants to ask questions or anything about the brand new music video that just dropped, we tried to do it the other night, and uh, some McDonald's ad came up and <laughs> just ruined the whole thing. So we're this is attempt two, and so far, it seems to be working. Aurelius is here. Hello. Thank you for joining. And Tiffany, how's it going? And Mike is here. How's it going? Um... Yes, please fire away if you have any questions um, about the music video or anything, actually, to be honest. We can talk about anything. Can't hear you, says Nicole. That's not good. Okay. Let's figure that out. Maybe if I plug something out here, let me see. Can anybody else hear me? Or is it just Nicole can't hear me? If it's everybody else, we got an issue. But we can fix it. There's probably a delay as well when I'm speaking, so let me see. Okay, you can hear me. Okay. Uh, Nicole, you just have me on mute. You just there. <laughs> right, so what's the crack, everybody? So Don't Look, Don't Look Back music video dropped, and the reaction to it has been absolutely amazing. Um, thank you so much, everyone that's been sharing it and getting the word out there. Um, we shot the video in El Paso, Texas. Uh, while we were recording some new music, it was like, why not, in the middle of the desert, bike a rock song, got some bikers involved, and uh, it really turned out amazing, and it was so much fun, um, on the way to, we it was a second attempt of that as well, uh, because the first attempt, we got stuck in the sand, in the desert, and had to reschedule it, so, you know, that's how we do it, that's how we do it, so, um, yeah, let me see if there's any questions. Are you coming back to Cincy in April? Uh, actually, we'll be back there a lot sooner than that. Um, we haven't announced the tour yet, but I feel like a lot of it has been already leaked because I'm getting messages about the tour in January. But we will be in America in January, and all of that is about to be revealed, uh, and all the dates, and a very, very exciting tour. So that is happening in January. So we'll be back in Cincy then. I'm not sure about April uh, and what's happening then, but definitely oh no james brown's here we got trouble james should you not be gigging right now <laughs> welcome who else is here it's a big announcement all right don't get too obvious now james mike francis is here hello mike my friend how are you how are we doing thank you for joining uh okay everybody's guessing the the news here now so um we're being so discreet about it aren't we uh, who else am I missing out on? I thought I saw another question. Mm, when will you be back in the States? Oh, Tiffany. Yes, back in January. I don't think we're in your neck of the woods in January, but, you know, a nice a nice small flight. It'd be nice to see it. <laughs> oh, yes. James is off until Tuesday. So your next show is with me because I am just packing my bag right now because I'm leaving tomorrow for Dublin. I'm going up to Dublin tomorrow night to see a band called Nothing But Thieves, uh, who I really love, a great band with a great new record out. So I'm going up to the Olympia Theatre in Dublin tomorrow to see those guys play. 
and then flying out Tuesday morning to Stockholm, Sweden to start the the next tour. So we got like eight shows, I think it is, coming up, uh, Sweden, um, Norway, and Finland. So it's going to be my first time ever in Scandinavia. So super excited with that. Uh, let's see. Danny is with me. Hello, Danny. How's it going? Thank you for watching, Mike and Danny. Much appreciated, as always. You absolute legends. Um, Aurelius, I can hardly imagine seeing Jeff Tate and the guys that I, I know. It's going to be so crazy to be in the U.S., and on a different tour. So um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be weird. And I'm, I cannot wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Um, let's see if I'm missing any more. Do you have any behind the scenes stories you can share about the making of Don't Look Back video? Um, besides getting stuck in the sand, um, we brought um, Jack Ross along with us. And he took some behind the scenes footage, which I believe Taylor is going to share. So we have some behind the scenes footage coming. Uh, Mike came along and um we just kind of just hung out we had, we brought some beers of course to loosen up and had a really really fun time shooting it it was so hot in the desert like and we shot it late in the evening as well but it was still ridiculously hot uh but it was amazing uh speaking of yeah weather bring your jacket it's freezing james i just got a new winter jacket that arrives in the morning um <laughs> flo what's your normal salary for tour? you don't want to know man you don't want to know it's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Joanne, how's it going? How are we doing? Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. So, oh, that's a good question here. How does the imagery used in the music video relate to the overall theme of the song? So in the music video, um, if everybody's seen it, I don't know, maybe someone hasn't seen it yet. Um, it's kind of a biker song. It's a song that I wrote. Uh, my dad is a biker. And... Um, I wrote the song for the club and it was one of those songs that I wrote in like five minutes start to finish and the lyrics never changed. It was exactly how it was, uh, chord structure, everything. It was just came out in one go. And uh, so I wrote that for the, for the club and I was just like, went into a whole different world with the storyline. And it was really cool to get the bikers in El Paso to come in on the video and to just create that desert rock raw rock and roll sound that we have with that track and it is honestly one of the most fun songs to play live i think james who's watching will agree that um that it was just so much fun um crazy fun to play live every night and his solo it's pretty kick-ass to be fair don't want to give him too much of a big head here now but he did a good old job i just got some new songs back from the studio um a bunch of new ones that we did in el paso and i'm freaking out freaking out about how good they are and uh i'm not going to say anything more nice about nothing else about james brown because uh, i've got too many nice things to say so i'll leave it off <laughs> uh the eagle fan where did you shoot the video that yeah el paso texas um we were recording in a place a really famous amazing incredible studio called sonic ranch and we shot the video really close to uh, sonic ranch studios and um, yeah, we recorded, I think it was seven new tracks when we were there. And then we had a couple of hours to, shoot, to head off and shoot the video. So El Paso, Texas. Uh, Flo says, as long as we have beer, that sounds good to me. And there will be beer. <laughs> Let's see, what's the... Yes, indeed. Thanks for joining, James, and answering some questions. You're getting there before me. You're on fire, man. Uh, fantastic shot video and excellent production. Thank you very much, Mike. Is there any particular line in Don't Look Back that holds significance meaning to you or significant meaning to you? Um, there is. It always kind of, every time I listen to it, I kind of find a really cool line because I was writing not as myself on the song. I was writing as a storyline, uh, a made up storyline in my head. Um, so right now, what was my favorite line in it? I know the I got my brothers by my side with the, you know, the biker club theme and how they're kind of like a family and stuff. Um, the club that I wrote it for was like super, super happy with, with the track and kind of took it in as their anthem. Um, if anybody knows anyone at Harley Davidson, I mean, come on, it's perfect for an ad for Harley Davidson, right? So, 
um, we'll tag them in some stuff and be like, come on, lads, you need to you need to get promoting this big time. Um, let's see, any more questions? Bearing you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm impressed that this is working and there was no um glitches. Uh, let me see what else I want to talk about. Yeah, so as I mentioned, we have some brand new music coming and it's going to be coming quickly. I mean, next year, the plans for next year are absolutely insane. There is so much exciting stuff happening that I can't even get my head around it. Uh, we recently did a really, really, really exciting collaboration as well with a, with another artist, uh, one who, one of my favorite artists in the world. So the fact that we're doing a collaboration uh, is just mind blowing. So that song's coming very soon. Um, there's a couple of tracks from the El Paso thing that are ready to go. And it's just, uh, working with Brian Virtue is insane. It's just been crazy. Um, let's see, any more questions? Whose idea was it to have the video to have the bandana in the bush at the end of the video? Nice touch. Uh, it was my idea. How many that's in? It was not. Those great nice touch ideas are never for me. Uh, that was Mike. Uh, I'm 99.9% sure that was Mike that was like, let's do that. Um, Mike is actually here, so you can you can include that, right? Oh, hang on, I'm just seeing his question. Uh, where can you get the cool bandanas that's included in the video? So you can get the bandanas and all the merch. Here's the sales pitch on my website, markdailyofficial.com. So get over there right now. Spend all your money. Christmas is coming. Uh, don't you have a Christmas song coming out soon? Can you tell us a little about that? Well, great question because uh, James is watching and he doesn't even know yet. But we're going to, I'm leaving for tour on Tuesday. And we're definitely going to be doing a Christmas cover of a song that we that he, James has no idea, no idea about, but I'm going to drag him into it anyway. And we'll do an acoustic version, and we'll put it up on our YouTube page. Um, so, yeah, that's the crack there. Um, has Mike confirmed that it was his idea with the bandana yet? If he hasn't, I'm pretty sure it was. Who designed the artwork in the bandana? Mike, it was Ronnie Yonker, who I'm sure you know. Um, yourself and Danny, I think, have met her. Um, Ronnie designed the bandana and the logo, and I absolutely love it. Those bandanas turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, Flo is asking if Mike has a tattoo artist ready for the tour. So, we recently did a show in Columbus, Ohio, um, a private party show uh, at Mike's, and we ended up having a tattoo artist come, and that was fun. So, we're going to make that a theme. Um, so yes, Mike, please research uh, a tattoo artist for every show in Scandinavia and the US. We'll be destroyed with tattoos. Bob, what's the crack? How's it going? Thank you for watching. When is the Australian tour? Mike is also. Mike and Diane, you're watching. Let's go, Australia. Let's do it ASAP. I'm ready. There's so many great venues out there now. And so I'd love to get out there um, as soon as possible. I love these little subtle, subtle hints here. Thanks, Taylor. Is there a Black Friday merch sale coming Tuesday? Yes, there is. And today is what, Sunday? So yes, in 48 hours, there will be a, a Black Friday sale on, on the website. So please keep an eye out for that. Um, Aurelius, I need more guitar string jewelry soon. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna have some brand new guitar string jewelry at the, the new shows coming up in the US in January. We won't have them with us for the Scandinavian tour, but we'll have a brand new batch because we sold so many of them on the on the US tour, which is great. Do you own a motorcycle yourself or do you want to? No, I do not own a motorcycle. Uh, yes, I want to, but I also know that I will be dangerous on one. So I'm going to wait until just till the kids are grown up and then I'll get a, then I'll get a motorcycle and have a midlife crisis. It'll be great. Thank you, Joanne. I'm glad you love your bracelet. I much appreciate it. I remember you picking one up. Should be your poster tattoo lady. Yes, Danny. Love it. We already have matching tattoos, Danny, and I love it. There's a picture of me and Danny somewhere in Ireland, up in the mountains, I think, with our matching tattoos. Hi, Mark. Who are the biker dudes in the video? 
Julie, that's the crack. How's it going? Uh, they are some guys in El Paso, Texas. Uh, so they were local local guys to Sonic Ranch where we were recording and super nice guys to come in and be part of the video and make it look so badass. Tiffany loves her guitar string bracelet as well. Thank you, Tiffany. Much appreciated. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, this is amazing. Do you still have your glasses, Mark? <laughs> I actually do. Can you believe it? I lose everything, Nicole, and I still have it. Uh, it made it into the pocket of my leather jacket, so I still have it. It's not on my wine glass right now, actually, but uh, I do have it. So cheers. You're probably thinking, why don't you have it right now, right? So let's see. Have we got any last-minute questions? Because I'm surprised at how many questions come in, actually, because this has been very successful. Um, yeah, so that's a Q&A, and I'm going to headbutt a guitar. And that's the Q&A, I think, unless anyone has any last question. Um, and I have to get back to packing my suitcase and somehow fit all the merch and my clothes into one bag and bring my guitar and start rocking it again. Honestly, cannot wait to um, to be rocking out in Stockholm, Sweden on Tuesday. Oh, James, you still have yours as well. Fair play. Will you and Claire be on the Backstage Past tour in Tuscany? Tiffany, I will be there one week of the two, I believe. Um, I think I'll be there week one and not week two. So um, are you going? Let me know if you're going. And hopefully it's week one if you are. And uh, don't forget your coat. Yes, I will bring my coat. I've got my coat. It's packed. Um, it's ready to go. And I am not looking forward to be absolutely freezing. But I'm kind of used to it. I live up in a mountain here in Ireland where we get absolutely no cover. So it's quite windy right now. You can actually hear the wind rattling the house as we speak. Will you be in Germany? Yes, I will be in Germany. Cannot wait. I think Germany this year is going to be year eight of in a row besides the year of COVID. So it'll be year eight of the Germany trip, which I absolutely love every year. Uh, week two, Tiffany. No, boo. Um, that sucks. You just have to plan a little sneaky trip over to Ireland. I mean, you can get to Ireland really easy from Italy, so it'll be fine. Will you be in Venice? No, I won't be in Venice, actually. Um, unfortunately, Mary. I wish I was going, but um, I won't be on that one. Joanne, see you there. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. It's an exciting year ahead, honestly. We're, we've been doing some emails back and forth with the team, the best team in the world, actually. I'm just going to say that while they're watching as well, but it's actually true. Um, we've been back and forth about the 2024 and what we're planning, and it's just ridiculously exciting. So lots of new music, um, lots of new releases, music videos, tours, everything. Um, so thank you guys for joining and asking questions tonight. Let me just get through a couple of more here. Montana too. Montana, I won't be at either. Is it, that's in January, right? Um, I won't be there because we are starting the tour just a couple of days after that finishes, so I won't be able to go to Montana. Oh, if you're coming into Rome early, Tiffany will definitely figure out a way because I have to fly out of Rome. So we'll definitely figure out a way of eating up for a couple of drinks and a catch up. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I got through all the questions. And just want to say again, thank you for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing it on your pages and stuff. And if you can think of anybody that um would like a rock and roll dirty biker song, please send it to them and tell them to share it and share it online. That'd be amazing getting the word out. Um, uh, maybe we can start a campaign in the next like week or so where we can just like really piss off Harley Davidson and just tag them and everything and be like, Hey, put this into an ad. Uh, it'd be great to get that biker community behind the, tr the track. Um, but thank you for sharing it. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I've been talking shite for 20 minutes. That's actually impressive. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. Uh, James, I'll see you on Tuesday and everybody else. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Don't forget. We'll be back in America in January. 
so please come see us and uh for anyone that's in scandinavia watching which i imagine is nobody um i'll see you there on tuesday cheers everybody <laughs>